You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at this thing. It's not exactly an unboxing, because I already took it out of the box where it was safe. Uh, and this is the in so some, some bubble wrap. Uh, and then I got, uh, this is going to be the Platinum Curados. Clearly, this is a new pin. It's uh, had a whole lot of hype. You've probably heard of this thing. Uh, it is a retractable pin from uh, from Platinum. And I just got this from uh, Luxury Brands. We had talked a while ago about uh, me maybe doing a review of this thing when it finally got here. And it is. So here's the uh, this is the media kit that was sent out for the Curados launch. So I'm not sure if this is what the actual like regular packaging looks like or not, or if this is just a media kit sort of situation. But, uh, you know, I'll ask them later on when I do the full review. Got here. Quite the box. This thing is it's pretty big. All right, so push here. Cool. That's fun. Does like the knock. All right. We have uh, here a uh, pamphlet about Curidos stuff. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We have graphs. Uh, changes of the amount of ink by time. Curidos, our conventional fountain pen, PGB 3000. I'm not even sure what that is. Lapse time in months. Ink level percentage. Oh, I guess this is about uh, evaporation or some such thing is what they're talking about there. All right, well, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then, just pull out. How do I pull this out? I don't want to break it. This is a cool box. Oh, <laughs> just keep pulling. Okay. Oh, pretty. The red one. I haven't even, I don't think I've seen this one yet. Nice. Okay, so this is the nib removal tool. And we have the uh, Platinum Curados, uh instruction manual. How to disassemble the thing for the ink refill. Okay, we'll do that here in a sec. Because of the converter. Awesome. And a pen. This appears to be new or else it's extremely clean. So yeah, cool. All right, so first impressions are, this is a really interesting pen. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this is a very interesting pen, I think. It's, uh, hmm, where's my vanishing point? Here it is. It's, this is sort of going to be, this is a retractable pen, sort of like the vanishing point, but it is quite a lot bigger. This is the regular vanishing point um, uh, uh, Guilloche model, model from a few years ago. And you can see this is, this is at least a finger's width longer than that. Uh, bigger around as well, and it's plastic, so it's a, it's a lot lighter. The clip is in a different place, all kinds of differences. We'll look at that when we do the full review. A lot of people were saying they would have problems with this click because this is so long, but I don't really have a problem here. I do have pretty big hands though, so I'm not I'm I'm not like a small hand person. Audrey's got smaller hands. I'll have her play with it in a little bit, but this click is authoritative, which is kind of nice. I like that. I don't mind the look of the clip. It is an interesting looking uh, looking device here, and then you have this little nubbin underneath here, which is one thing that some people had uh, said would be a deal breaker for them was this nubbin. But what that is for, you can see, I think, when this is opening, wow, this whole thing like is on a spring. Look at that go. That's really, that's really kind of interesting, I think. Uh, but when it opens, it's got a little trap door right here. This is gray piece that comes through. And that goes in the nubbin. I think it's just to get the trapdoor out of the way, but it's got to be giving it some kind of interesting. All right, so that's the thing that keeps the trapdoor out of the way. So the the nib is not pushing the trapdoor. Uh, let's see if I can let's see if you can actually see it. But like this opens up and then the nib comes out. So you're never going to have the nib pushing on the trapdoor, which is the thing that uh, sometimes the um, well, if you look here at the front of the uh, vanishing point. You do sort of have the nib pushing on that trap door. And so some people don't really care for that arrangement. Uh, I've never had it cause a problem or anything like that, but I've heard from some nib grinders and stuff that that can be an issue. So yeah, this one does not push on the trap door, which I think is very interesting. Nice, all right, and that authoritative click. All right, now how do I take this thing apart? Um, unscrew that, and then unscrew this, or something. I don't know what that means. Let's take this apart. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. All right. So then this whole assembly comes out. And then what? Where do you put this thing? And then you unscrew. And then you do this. <laughs> and then you put the 
converter on here, I think. This is a more involved setup. This thing is a, it's got a lot of moving parts, man. All right, so this goes on here, likely. And this goes over this. Got to find this little, this little ear, twist it into this L-shaped bracket. All right. Well, now once this is in there, you actually don't have to take this apart again if you don't want to, I don't think, because you can access the top of the, the converter, which is nice. That's a cool feature. All right, now if I can put this back together. So I've got the nub in here. Oh, this actually moves. Interesting. There's so many moving parts. There we go. That compresses. It comes back up. All right, well, that's not coming loose. And you're not going to have this fall off, which is a nice feature. Let me put this guy back together. There we go. Okay, so now why does this ha tail have to be so long? It's got so much travel. Okay, so I think this has to be so long because the converter actually comes out to here. So if we compare this to the, to the vanishing point, yeah, I get it. Okay, so you've got this long assembly in here, and it's got a piece up here, and you get this like first bit of travel, and then that opens the door right here. That's what this first bit is for, is opening the, is opening the door, and that comes to about the, the top of the converter. And you keep pushing. Yeah, you need like, so when this is, when this has got the nib out, that knock is almost completely gone. So yeah, you actually need all that travel. Really interesting. All right, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and ink it up, I think. Actually, let's see if I can take the clip off. I know some people had trouble with the clip. I wanted to give that a shot. Okay, it took me a little time to figure out what I want to put in there. I think I'm going to put in this uh, Diamine Mozart ink, which I haven't tried yet, but it looks like a gorgeous red. So I decided to put in, like I said, this uh, Diamine Mozart, which I have not really, I haven't gotten a chance to use yet, but I like. All right, so when I hold this pen, uh, it looks like my finger is actually kind of coming up against this nubbin on the bottom. That's how I, I got my fingers on either side of the clip, and I got the nubbin. This is the platinum. Curados, medium nib. With diamine. Mozart. And uh, this, <laughs> this nib feels really nice, actually. Uh, I am happy about that. I'm happy with this color, too. This is a good-looking color, and I am digging it. Uh, Platinum has a... Uh, they've always got great nibs on Platinums. I've got this one sitting here. I've got these guys over here. I've got, like, a bunch of 3776s and stuff. I'm a Platinum fan, but uh, this nib feels very nice. It's got a nice medium size to it, I think. Nice line weight. Got a good feel to it. It's got a little bit of feedback, but not too much. This is the uh, this is the nib from the um, the Prefonte, which is the same as the the Preppy nib. Uh, this is the medium there. So I'd say they're roughly the same. I think maybe the Curados's medium is a, is a touch narrower than the 0.5 uh, Prefonte, but um, you know both feel nice. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. All right, so. We'll just have to see how this does. I've got a little bit of ink uh, inside this like housing right here, it seems. Uh, probably I didn't wipe off my, my nib well enough when I uh, I did it and it's gotten a little bit of ink in there. But I'll just clean that with a paper towel and uh, it'll be a way to go. So, uh, all right, cool. So this is the Platinum Curados. Uh, check this out at a vendor near you. I'll be using this for a little bit and then I'll do a review on it. Uh, but check out the Platinum Curados. Thank you very much, Luxury Brands, for sending me out this uh, this very cool media kit. Thanks, John and uh, Bryce and uh, Carol. Y'all are great. And I, uh, <laughs> I'm psyched about this pen. Thanks very much, y'all. Also, this red is like a cranberry and I dig it. All right, that's it. Peace out.